Hey, you wanted to become an electronic hobbyist? Well, congratulations! Electronics is fun and there are tons of cool things you can do with it. Electronic hobby has never been the same. With the advancement of technology, everything you need to get a working prototype is within your reach. So, what are the fundamental things you need to get started? That's what you're here to learn for 10 core things to jumpstart your new hobby. The thing that makes every project working is the power source. Knowing the two main types of power, the AC or alternating current and the DC or the direct current will equip you with the right understanding on your supply needs depending upon any specific application. It is also important to know the two main components of power, which are the voltage and the current, and how they behave in the AC and the DC system. Circuit design is mainly focused on manipulating these two in order to attain a specific output that is then used to operate devices such as LEDs, electric motors, speakers, and others. To be able to manipulate the voltage and current, electronic components are connected systematically. The two main connection is the series connection and the parallel connection. Most of the time, a combination of these two comprises a circuit block. In large and complex circuits, a combination of these circuit blocks is common. No matter how complicated and sophisticated a circuit design is, or any electrical system for that matter, the components can be broken down into three, resistor, capacitor, and inductor. Knowing these three and their different properties will not only give you a better grasp and why specific circuits are designed in such a way, but to give you full control on attaining your desired output. Learning the basic formulas and using them correctly is the bread and butter in an electronic hobby. No matter how complicated and complex a circuit is, it all started from these three basic formulas. The Ohm's law, voltage divider, the Kirchhoff's current law, and the Kirchhoff's voltage law. Eventually, as an electronic hobbyist, one will decide to learn using microcontrollers, for example, the Arduino. It is very important to know the two main types of signals, which are the analog and the digital signal. This is the core foundation in signal processing. As you progress with your hobby, you will be needing to build your own PCB. To know how to do PCB layout and design will expand your prototyping versatility. Though there are lots of plug and play boards that are compatible with Arduino, but surely time will come that you will have to build your own PCB board. Nowadays, soldering services is already available, but still, it is very important to have a good soldering skills. You won't become an official electronic hobbyist if you haven't get a hold of a soldering iron anyway. It is important to know the tools and equipment to gather and analyze data. Tools such as voltmeter, ammeter, ohmmeter are often combined into one multimeter, is referred to as the stethoscope of the doctor for electronic hobbyists. Other equipment such as oscilloscope, logic analyzer, waveform generator, and many others are important as well. This is a must skill as most of the time, hobbyists will encounter problems with their circuits. But don't get discouraged. These skills comes with knowledge and experience. If you have learned the first 8 core things above, all you need is to practice. To make your project more professional, knowing the right manufacturing techniques is a good tool to bring your prototyping to the next level. There you have it. 10 core things to jumpstart your electronic hobby. If you want to learn more, I am more than willing to help you out every step of the way. Kindly subscribe and hit the bell button and get notified with my video series discussing each of these core principles in a simple, fun, and engaging way. I strongly believe that learning by heart is way better than being naturally smart. Once again, this is Abby Omisol. 
see you guys next time only here at Home Interventions.